We got something up ahead. Damn it. Road's blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kinney and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That not cross my mind. Hey, Clint. What are you going to do with Lily? There's nothing to do that would even begin to fit the crime. We could lock her away, forever. I don't know about that one, huh? She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. You worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. Have you heard anything out of Lily in there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her. Yeah. How stuck? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. 
That's where Kenny's got us headed. I'll take this to catch him for Doc. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. We gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. Ask Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Jesus! This door's gonna hurt. Can't get at it. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. found these, if Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. And what's it like? Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. 
No way. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Elky's still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck, and get us unstuck? Yeah. There's gotta be a better way to do this. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. You have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. 
We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Brain's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? Get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? No. Ah, living got them. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay.
You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doc. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. Chris. Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Kenny, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and... Just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest, so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course.
I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Gotcha! Why, Cat? Honey? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you- She could- She- she- she just- What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. You know she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What? She's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. 
You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. I sent the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and you know, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. It's a fifth of whiskey. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. Well, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about it. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim lower. A bit to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. A 
little bit more to the left. A little bit low. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. Ah, uh, me too. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat would be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's 
all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. You got anything else you want to say? No. Good. You could never tell Kenny. You understand? But... Do not. You don't sell us out to the bandits. They never attack. They never attack. Duck never gets bitten. He'll kill you. I just... I want him to know. Bullshit. You just want to feel better. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. We need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... Um, um, something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, 
And it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. That's about the only useful thing in here. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Y'all want some candy? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. 
Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in ships. We'll see. You like Civil War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You got it. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything.